but when I look at my land point lookout, this is your land right here. It's actually all good on this front, and you actually sell oil, which is pretty good. Oh, you have a school! Damn it! We don't want a school. No. Local build cost is just not worth it, because, like, I don't care about build time. Or build time. Or, yeah, I don't care about build costs. I'd rather have money. Um, what's this? Regiment cost. No, I don't look at that anyway. I want more money. No, no, no. Look at that. 30, like, serious? Like, do you see this microing? Like, look at this big boost in money I just got because I microed that. Look at this! Fifth. Oh my god, that's half a bottle cap. That's a lot of fucking money for one building. That's a really good... See, microing's good. Yeah, micro debt. You know how it is. I need more freight vessels. Keep that trade going. Sweet. We can almost connect our lands. Almost, which is good. Yeah, point lookout is a peninsula. Ooh, all our dudes are done. We'll go ahead and just throw them... Um, here? Oh, no, not you, not you. Diplomatic relations. No, I don't want diplomatic ties with you. Sorry, I'm gonna go to war with you sometime soon. And that's just gonna make it more complicated. Needs to be cord still. Eerie needs to be cord. We have super mutants in Uptown. Uptown funk you it. Uptown funk you it. Oh, okay. There we go. And they're dead. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of trade power I can start getting. Ooh, 33. Oh my god, look at this trade power, though. Give me all of that trade power. Also, I don't want these to be mothballed here. I want these to be mothballed here at our colony. Just so it's a little bit easier for me to send out these trade ships when they're done. Mothballing up. Since you're still allied with the gunners. So nothing bad happened there. Bunker Hill. So when we go through the Adam Cats, we're gonna have to deal with the Institute and Bunker Hill. Like these guys not scary, but the Institute, ugh. It's gonna be a bit of a pain, but it should be fine. Also, Rebel Uprising at the pit. Where exactly at the pit? Youngstown, Uptown, and Erie. Okay. That sucks. Actually, surprised. We started out as a one province, by the way. Just like everyone to know this, we started out as one province minor. This is our only province, and now we're this. It looks pretty good, gotta say. I mean, you know, granted, we're really technologically advanced. Also, the enclave is dead, completely dead. Good job. Midwestern chapter completely destroyed the enclave. What? What's the relation between these guys and? Oh, they don't like each other. Why? Minus 70, neighboring heretic religion, aggressive expansion. Yeah, they don't like them. They hate each other. I mean, not hate each other, but there's going to be a fight probably. Ooh, level 9. <gasps> Look at what we get next! Command Center and T-51B Mark II, salvage jeeps, and a reinforced howitzer. We get our new troops soon. Hell yeah, in 11 years. But hey. Eh. Uh, let me go ahead and try and... Where's the thing? Oh, these ones. I can only do this once every 25 years. So I can do that two more years. How's Diamond City? Dead. Diamond City died a while ago. Institute took him out. I could free them when I take the Institute down, but they're not Brotherhood of Steel, so I'm not gonna free them. They're just gonna be part of our land. Go ahead and 
for Erie, so let's make it not a territorial core anymore, so it's less problematic. Okay, there's another uptown revolt. We'll go ahead and stomp that. We have food down here at Dog. That's pretty crap. Food is one of the worst things we can get. Food and irradiated water it looks like the two worst things. Pre-war attack being the best. Guns, munitions, doctor supplies, uh, oil, steel. That's all in the middle. That's pretty fine. And what is this? Books? Pre-war books. That's also pretty shitty. Tools are okay. Oh, Manhattan does pre-war tech. That's going to be nice to take. So what's the CIT ruins do? They have pre-war tech. Okay, that makes sense. Stability? No. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our estate, we're going to go ahead and get some prestige, and we're going to go ahead and... Uh, we're going to increase patrols here so it's less unrest, and then we're going to get more loyalty. Boom. I really, really like the new estate system of the Brotherhood of Steel. I love the way it works with the fucking Brotherhood of Steel. This is really cool. And it's only like one you have to worry about, and it, it like constantly is always up. And they give you a lot more benefits. It's really, really cool. I, I like it. What does our capital produce? It produces pre-war tech, which is the best, I believe. I don't know if there's one better. I don't, I don't really know, actually. I haven't seen... I think I've seen them all, but I don't know. There might be one that's, like, really rare that's, like, somewhere. Drugs are also pretty crappy. I don't know if there's something better. Something on the West Coast, maybe. Slaves are also pretty crappy. Pre-war tech. Yeah, it looks like pre-war tech seems the best. I can't think of anything unique unless, like, I don't know. Maybe they have the, um, the, the Hoover Dam producing energy, and it's, like, this unique thing that's, like, super expensive, but I doubt it. Where is the Hoover Dam, anyway? Isn't, like, right here somewhere? There it is. It's pre-war tech, okay. So, yeah, it looks like the most important locations in Fallout, aka the most technologically advanced locations, are pre-war tech. Which makes sense. Sandy Flats, pre-war tech. Lost Hills, pre-war tech. Yeah, see, like, stuff like Brother of Steel locations are pre-war tech. Mariposa is actually irradiated water. Well, that sucks. What about Navarro? Food. That sucks, too. Well, sucks for them. Does New New York have any allies? Yes, they do. Us! We'll break that before we go to war, obviously. Actually, they're enemies with the Adam Cats, because Adam Cats took some of their lands. I'm pretty sure this was their land. Let me see. Yeah, they have a reconquest cast a spelly on the Adam Cats for taking does it say? I think we just look here. Um Yeah, see, this can they consider this to be a core part of their land, so the Adam Cats stole that from them. And they have a claim on this, but yeah, this was actually originally New New York and Adam Cats took it. But we're gonna kill them and then kill the Adam Cats and I mean, I could have these guys help us out against the Adam Cats, but... Nah, I'm just gonna kill everyone. We're only friendly with people until it stops benefiting us. Then we're not friendly. But it's just the way the Brotherhood Outcasts have to be. Let's go ahead and convert Eerie. Um... I guess I should wait, because I really want to get this overextension gone. So we're gonna get rid of that before we tech up again. Even though I really need to tech up admin, because we're getting really unbalanced. What's this? Embassy? Ooh. Plus one diplomatic relations. That's actually terrible. Because we have seven as a Brotherhood of Steel. Ridiculous. <laughs> Help them kill the Agnets and turn them on. Well, I don't, need, I don't need to, though. You know? This is a pretty... Uh, honestly, they're both really easy to beat. So, And the problem is, I need to be... Ooh. Um, we have military power. I need to be... Um, neighboring the Adam Cats to get a claim on their provinces, or it's going to cost me stability to just declare war. Because I can declare war right now. But there's no Cassus Belly, which is a reason to go to war. So I could declare war right this second, but I'd get war exhaustion, I'd get minus two stability, which isn't good. Actually. No, I'm not going to do it yet, because I can't core this land. It's not close enough. But I could do it, and honestly, it would go pretty good right now, but I wouldn't be able to core this land, and there'd be so much rebellion, and I couldn't even take all the It'd just be a fucking problem. I'm gonna do the safe route instead of the more comp- It's not complicated, but the more loose cannon route. 
I don't want to get overrun with rebels. Can we get pre-war tech? I mean, we have a lot of pre-war tech in a lot of places. We can't, like, change the, um, the trade good of an area unless an event pops up that's like, hey, we've discovered pre-war tech, and, you know, now we're gonna start selling that, or, hey, there's a 50% chance to get pre-war tech in this area, or something like that. But as you can see, with, um, uncolonized land, it's, oh, it actually shows everything it could be. So it looks like gold is still the best thing, yeah. These gold is still on here. But gold's really rare. Yeah, so I'm gonna guess gold is the best, and the second best is pre-war tech. I don't know, though. I haven't seen gold anywhere. Except for one time down here, and then it disappeared and changed into, uh, medical supplies. It was gold yesterday, or last time I played. So I don't know. But yeah, it's a random chance to get something here. We can't make any, no. The whole point, the whole, like, condition with pre-war tech is that it's, you know, pre-war, so we can't, like, build it. We have to, like, find pre-war tech, because it's, you know, stuff before the war. The remains of the old world are strewn around us. All of it, all it takes is a keen eye and a bit of know-how, and suddenly you've got a piece of usable tech. Yeah. And now we can go ahead and get rid of our last piece of overextension. Which is good. Good, good. Oh man. Yeah, I forgot getting food here. That's sad. Um, we don't need more authority because we have 100, so we'll go ahead and get Diplo power. Our stability is so good right now, we're actually not even losing authority. So that's great. After we take the east, then we take the unclaimed land and push the west. Yeah. So basically what's going to happen is we're going to take Lenape, then we're going to destroy these guys. We'll probably have to wait a little bit to take Mir uh, Miramac and then take them out. And, I mean, I could take out Ronto, but that'll be, like, a side thing. I want to head east or west as fast as possible. Then we're going to expand through here, take out everybody here, vassalize Midwestern Chapter, head west, probably through the southern areas. We'll take the Montana Chapter eventually, and then we're going we're gonna to go ahead and clash with the NCE. But... No, we can't actually make anything like that. This is not a possibility. Can I build anything there? 13? That's not bad. Ooh, odd trade power, though. Which bottle cap? We're making almost 20 bottle caps a month. That is so ridiculously good right now. <sighs> that inflation, though, it's still dropping because of our advisor, but... Uh... Oh, we can almost get these guys on our side. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't send our gift yet, because our old gift is still there. So right now, all we can do with these guys is wait, because we already improved relations the maximum amount. Oh, the gift actually just wore off, so we can send another gift. 25 is the max we can do. So we just have to wait until aggressive expansion dies down, then we can... Uh, annex them and then get ready to move lose I really like to gain this stuff and we're gaining authority so I'm gonna do that that's fine we did get unrest for that because authority is beating our unrest back but that's okay we lost a weapons dealer that's unfortunate land attrition this I would really like the discipline but I want plus two so I'm just gonna get him for that reason oh no high elder Brendan the crappy elder has just died we get somebody who's literally just as shitty. What the fuck? Oh my, a 210? We just had a 120. What the fuck? Oh my god. This is like so unlucky. This is so unlucky. Ugh. Let's go back with allies so we can get diplomatic relations. So we can make them happy still. Oh, that's so fucking unlucky. Congratulations, Fractal. I don't know what that is because I don't play the game, but congratulations. Ah, he's decent general. Also, we can get adventurers now? I didn't even know we... Oh, yeah, because we got the uh, second thing. We don't really need adventurers. Adventurers is something we can go, like, here. Like, into undiscovered land. And, like, well, this is all water, but... North. I don't know how much of this is actually traversable. Might not just be like 
untraversable wasteland. Lose 5,000 manpower? Yeah, it's okay. We have 57,000. We're okay for now. Uh, how are we doing, soldiers? We can get another one. Let's pop one out here. Here. Also, you are taking attrition, so put you here. Alright, let's pop up to speed 5 and then just start letting time pass, because we can't do too much. Wow, a lot of stuff happened. No. I can build some more stuff. Where? Oh, here. Not right now, then. I guess... Nah, I don't need to core this right now. It's fine. Alright, keep advancing time at speed 5. It's like a sports car. Okay, slow down. Convert, and speed 5. Actually, what's our tech at? Six years in advance. Okay, in that case, we're going to go for settlement range. Which might allow us to do this. <gasps> oh my god. No, the province is still too far away. Fuck. Okay, never mind. Oh, uh, get that. Our advisor has died. Let's go ahead and get mercenary costs, even though that's not very good. Um... I could get diplomatic relations to help out with him, but that's okay. We're gonna get there eventually. Rebel uprising in the pit, that's fine. We have someone there to deal with it once it springs. I don't think we can build much. We can build something up there. I guess I'll build something. And yeah, right now we're just advancing time. Alright, well, I went too fast, and they actually did take control of something. And they're, that's a pretty big army. That's scary. But we should be able to beat it like this. And I will send the men. That was a pretty hard-fought battle, but we won. Alright, there we go. Why are we getting so little money all of a sudden? Oh, was that really it? The advisor or the uh, casualties? Yeah, that was it. Um, do I want more settler increase? No, I want to get the next text. Ooh, need a rising. Can I annex you yet? No, not quite. Do I still have send gift? Yes. Damn. Takes forever to get you happy with us because of our aggressive expansion. Oh, and actually, send things just went off. Damn it. This stupid event again. This event sucks. Vassalizing them sucks. It's so close. Get them happy. Thanks, our blue people. I want Oasis. Looks amazing. He has a magic tree. We'll be getting there. We're trying. Oh, man. Yes, actually. No, I hate this high elder. Yes, die. A 602 is not that bad. It, uh, this is terrible, but 6 is really good, so. It's something, I guess. We'll get Ally again. Let's see what kind of general he is, though. Is he a good one or a bad one? He is a shit one. Yay! 0200. Zero, zero. We have more admin power, which is good, which means we can tech up. There we go. Which means we can get a new idea group. Fuck yes. Okay. Do I want offensive ideas? Or do I want research ideas? Something that makes our research go up higher? No, I think I want offensive ideas. So this will give us a lot better... I mean, quality is good too. It makes our infantry and everything better as we go up. Vehicular combat ability. I think I'm going to go for offensive ideas. This makes our offense really, really good. Infrastructure... No, let's go for offensive ideas. This is just a really good one. Yeah. Yeah. And what's our tech? Three years in advance still, so we'll go ahead and get our first level of that, and level of that. Okay. They're almost done. How are you doing? 178! We're so close to being able to... Ooh. To integrate them. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's get all this extra Monarch Point stuff. I don't really need any of this other stuff, honestly. I can't do 
extol achievements, so let's get money. That's fine. And the colony is self-sustaining. Okay, so... I'm... Still gonna make another colony, yeah. I was gonna wait, but no. So let's see. Ledger, possible colonies... Chikora. I think that's the one right south of it. No, it's down here. Chikora. What about one of these? These, not as good? No. Chikora is the best one right now? Fuck. Okay. Let's head to Chikora. We will be... Colonizing down here. Oh! There he goes. Now, we almost... Oh man, I thought it was going to pop up a little bit higher than that. Never mind. That's unfortunate. It's so close, though. It's ridiculous. And we can annex them as soon as that hits 190. We'll go ahead and... Actually, no. I still want to save up because I want that tech level 8. I can go to others and stuff. Isn't the downside to having <laughs> Brother of Steel? Yeah, that's their other disadvantage. It's not said anywhere, but every leader you get is just literal garbage. I wouldn't doubt it. Now, this one, we had a really good one the other day. Uh, no. Oh, so close. And then we can finally start moving for more. Come on, just finish. I want to move for war so bad. Recruitment. Now I'm going to save up for military tech. Uh-oh. We have raiders, and they're actually fighting them for us. Thank you. Because it was in Oasis. I don't know why it showed us. I guess because they're a vassal of ours. Oh! We can annex them now. Yes! Yes! Annexing! It's going to take forever. How long is it going to take? It's going to take until 2402. So that's, oh my god, five years. But we're annexing them. So it begins. Oh my god, radioactive waste. Are you joking? You're kidding me. <laughs> oh, no. Can you just change government type? Leaders back. Can you try to kill them by sending the battle? I can, but we're not at battle. Ooh. And, um, we can't change our government type because we're, we have a unique government type. We got Steel now. Uh, Brotherhood of Steel has a unique government type. It, it's not... It, we're just really unlucky. It's not because we're Brotherhood that we're getting bad leaders. It's just really unlucky. But, uh, yeah, we could send him into battle, but there's no battle until we can get Lenape here. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and dissolve the alliance with New New York so I can go to war as soon as possible. Did lose a military leader there, that sucks. He was really good. Authority is actually eh, it's still going up. You can tech up. Admin tech, good. Bunker uncovered. Military power, please. You can get another soldier. Research. Military power again, please. Yes, we can tech up again. You know what this means. <laughs> we got our new units, boys. This is going to be ridiculous now. So we have Jeeps, Mark II, and Reinforced Howitzers. We just upgraded everything we have. And we have a new leader, and this one's really good. That's a really good leader. We'll go ahead and change our stance to Enhance. That's a really good leader, so we got Lucky on there. Go ahead and make him into a commander, which is kind of bad. 50% done with annexing. And then it's wartime. Go ahead and core that. So how far are we? We're 10 years ahead for military, so we'll go ahead and get offensive idea stuff. Now, one unfortunate thing with this mod is once you clear everything out in the, uh, the beginning area, there's a lot of speed fiving. Because right now we're just kind of waiting to go to war. Or, well, until we can annex and then go up here. Granted, it's kind of my fault. I probably should have just annexed them right off the bat, which I probably will do in the future at all times, but, you know. And they're ours. Huzzah. But now we have, like, way too many units. And there we go. Okay. 
And we actually just finished our colony down here, too. So we'll send up to Lenape and then get ready for war because it is time. Also, we have more tech. We can get Diplo tech, which will allow us to do an embassy. What does that do? An embassy? Diplomatic reputation and relations. I mean, I might as well build these buildings because you can only have one of them. So why not? You know? Wait, why can't I build these buildings? Oh my god, it costs 2,000 to build? Whoa! Hold the fuck on. Never mind. Holy shit. I can afford it, but I don't want to. It's Jesus, no. Go ahead and do that. And there we go. Now, we can start building a spy network against these guys. And we'll get these two armies in position to go to war. No allies? Oh, they're trying to improve relations with the Institute. We have to kill them before that happens. Also, I need to use you. Go ahead and get some of that, and we'll get some more manpower, and then do that. Oh, our banker died. We get another one of him. Stability cost modifier, that's fine. What are we can do now? We can promote graffiti. We can lose unrest. I don't need that yet. But that's actually really good. I'll have to remember that. Go ahead and core that. Ooh! Radiation adaptability. So we have recover morale or yeah, we have plus ten percent army morale recovery speed and one stability. That's awesome. Um we'll do this. I'm gonna lose the stability. And then I'm going to gain the stability via that. Can I go to war yet? We can go to war. Alright, we want Manhattan. Right off the bat, just claims on the most powerful one. There you go. Everybody ready for war? Because I am. Go, go, go! Hit with everything! Bring reinforcements in, just in case. Keep them somewhere where I can actually hold them. Oh, we don't even need reinforcements. That's all they have? No. Let's go back to the pit. We got this. They have a really good leader, though. Nah, we got it. I don't even need to help. Carpet, siege, everything. Go. Oh, man, I had to siege this down before I could do anything else. Scream for Narnia. It's it's late. I can't do that. One of the provinces we have is Bel Air. I'm now the Prince of Bel Air. Oh my god, Cohen. Look at that. Isn't that perfect? So we have two. Yeah, I can't I can't proceed until we take down this troublesome fort. Um Let's get Diplo Power. Get ready to tech up and diplo power. Oh, maybe I should have gotten admin, actually. I forgot we already teched up. That's okay. Diplo's still always good to have. Alright, once this fort is down, we can start progressing towards Manhattan's fort, which is level 3. This is level 2. And then, we're going to get ready to kill the Adam Cats. I have to make sure I'm bordering them, though. At least, yeah, this is... They're still trying to make a settlement here in the Glowing Sea. Like, come on, really? So we need to take, or or we have to uh, order the institute. One of the two. Really, we lost our leader, and now we got a really not that great one. I mean, it's not bad, but that sucks, dude. Of course, right? Eh, this one's okay, I guess. These guys don't have a leader now, though. Let's go ahead and give him a leader. So we'll get one dude, and then we'll give him the leader, and then we'll send him in. Just so they can have a leader. Because you can't put a leader on something that's not in your territory. So I'll speed up time just a little bit. Settlement funded. Founded. Oh! 200 settlers to Susquehanna. Or Susquehanna. Nope. Can't 
Can't can't type. Oh, that was a screenshot. Oh, Susquehanna is there. Okay, sure. Yay, we're done. Push into Manhattan. Let's go. Oh my God! Whoa, 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 whoa! Why am I at five speed? I thought I was at four. That's okay. We <laughs> that was a scary fight, but we're okay. Can I take a look at Eerie and see what I can do with it? Uh, Eerie's pretty not that great. It's a one 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 three development. It's pretty crap. And I'm not gonna waste any monarch points on it, to be perfectly honest. Also, I need to unmothball my fleet here, so it's ready to fight. There we go. That army has been kicked out, and they're about to die because they're retreating into our own forces. And there we go. The new New York army is dead. So we're going to repair these four heavy ships. In fact, I want to get more heavy ships. Let's get, like, a lot more. Build a nice fleet. And then we can get more soldiers, too, while we're at it. We get some... Eh. We get... No, no, no. Get a howitzer. That's okay. Okay. While well, we're taking this land, I'll see. So... I want to take all that. Ooh, 70. So we can take this. We can't take everything. I, I was expecting that. I think I'm going to do this, though. Maybe this. Nah. I think just.